my boyfriend and I get along pretty well. The only time that we kind of like get into a tiff is on laundry day. Laundry day is a very confusing day in our household because I wear the clothes that I never intended on wearing and it makes him think that we're going on some fancy day. <laughs> I'm in this sparkly ball gown. He walks in like, ooh, what's up? I'm like, ooh, you got quarters? <laughs> And for some reason, he still thinks this is like something going down. He's like, how many quarters? I'm like, bro, I'm a grown woman. I'm not trying to go after seven years of dating to the vending machine, you know? It's not really my vibe. <laughs> He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy, though. I love him a lot. This is how nice he is. My mom recently moved to this small town, and we didn't know anything about it. And so he's in the background Googling the town. In mid-conversation, he, le he leans over and he's like, hey, I don't wanna like kill the vibe or anything, but a bunch of people died there from asbestos poisoning. <laughs> okay, don't wanna kill the vibe, all right. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's the kind of guy I wanna marry, you know? Someone willing to keep the vibe alive but let my mom perish. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> We do have a little bit of a drama going on in our relationship right now. Like my best friend is trying to come in between us and it's hard because I don't know how to choose between him or his mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he's cool, but she made him that way, you know? If you don't get along with your significant other's parents, you should feel blessed because you know boundaries, right? You just go over there, you pretend like you like their cooking and then you just go back home. With me, I don't know boundaries. I'll just like slip up and tell a secret that she told me. I'm like, oh, did you know your mom tried weed once? <laughs> He's like, she did what? <laughs> My mother? <laughs> uh, I do think that being nice is a little overrated though. I do, like recently I had a guy open the door for me and afterwards he was like, I'm a good guy. <laughs> I was like, I don't really report back to anyone, sir. <laughs> going on your own, you know? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> he needed it so bad that I almost wish I had made him believe that I do. <laughs> you know, pull out my phone and be like, excuse me, good person headquarters? Can you make sure that Chad in the cargo shorts is on the good boy list? <laughs> he opened the door for me. Am I old or disabled? Not in my opinion. <laughs> They said you're gonna have to stop catcalling Chad if you wanna get into heaven. <laughs> you know Chad was like, eh, it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm, honest, I'm not getting catcalled anymore. What, you're so pretty. Oh, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> it's not happening and I miss it. Ladies, I miss getting catcalled. It's like sneezing and someone saying, bless you, you're annoyed by it. But if they don't, you're like, am I ugly? <laughs> <laughs> That's usually the part where someone cat calls me, but I guess that's locked in stone, huh? Okay, that's fine.